In this last episode of our road trip in Cyprus, we stumble upon the steam park where renovation work suddenly have stopped. After exploring quite some amazing locations in Cyprus, we head to the airport. But suddenly, we spot an abandoned looking theme park and decide to check it out quick before we go home. Spot at the theme park. Let's check if it's something, eh? Looks a bit beaten up, yeah. yeah. It's definitely abandoned. Spotted that the back door is open. Convenient. And lots of trash. Oh, yeah. An arcade machine. Nice sofa. Uh, on Google, you saw uh, also indoor part. Indoor part? Yeah. Oh. Also a card game or what? Yes. Sweet. Looks like it has been uh, looted. Too. Garbage uh, sale here. Damn! It's nice with the palm trees. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And? Let's go. Uh huh. Left or right? Go left. Look at these whales. <laughs> so there's one really popular abandoned theme park here. I think it's called Tivoli. And this one, actually I never saw before. A well spotted Frederick. Constantly on the phone, but still checking, uh, <laughs> finding new locations. <laughs> There's a lot here. Oh, nice a carriage. It's a uh, mini, now a dreamland. There are nice teapots here. It's a theme park for children. Yeah, little children. That's nice too. That goes around the whole park over there. But mm. here are some more thrilling rides. Eh? Looks like there's a few more attractions over there. Mm. It's nice. Just a little bit overgrown. Look at the fake palm tree over there. <laughs> totally not plastic. Yeah. <laughs> this theme park was one of the largest in Cyprus and was for both adults and children. In 2019, the theme park closed down for renovations. Oh, oh Simba. looks new there. The green oh, yeah. one looks very new. Very new. Maybe it was being renovated and never opened. The exact same one at Nara Dreamland. <laughs> bumper cars, what is this? <laughs> yeah, both Instead of bumper cars? Yeah. Bumper cars. Are there still some left? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That's actually pretty funny. Mm. 
Is it fresh paint? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look, it's fresh. Yeah, it is fresh. Let's check the indoor part. Yes, but I guess it's empty. Yeah, well, when you see all the arcade games outside already, yeah. it's not a good sign, but... Uh, I can see one already. <laughs> yeah, outside. <laughs> outside, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. Looks nah. like they're renovating too here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they are painting this? Yes. Maybe it's good we are here on a Sunday. Yeah. Nothing too special here, huh? No. Well, at least they are renovating it. But it's not a really clean place to uh, paint. Hmm. New wall over there? Well, new. Yeah. Oh, the, the lights are on. Really? Time to move to see the other side of the park. Nice. Only with ticket. Oops, we don't have ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Is it automatic or can you paddle? No automatic, eh? Oh, damn. It would be fun if you could cycle around the park. Here you can see the new expansion of the park, but work seems to have stopped. Gosh. This is for the older people, I guess. Yeah, but it looks like well, a big, older people. Looks like a big dump here. Oh, this is fun. Let's go in there. You know this thing? The you have like moving stairs and the oh, yeah. you can see the hamster wheel. I didn't call it the crazy house. The crazy house. Uh, this part looks a little older, huh? Ah, yeah, the hamster wheel. I yeah. don't know if they call it like that, but I will try. <laughs> no, doesn't even move. No. Oh, I see. It's powered. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> and those are the moving stairs normally. Yeah, I think this was really the more uh, thrill rides here, eh? this terrain. It's, it's wrapped in foil. It's really a post-apocalyptic theme park here. Whew, the sun is burning today, huh? Damn. In Holland, it's freezing at night, and here it's 32 degrees. Yes. Right here, this looks nice. After doing some research at home, it looks like they bought some new and some second-handed attractions in 2020 and want to expand the park. Pretty nice, huh? One of the roller coasters moved to the new part, and some attractions, like the Ferris wheel, still have to be assembled. This explains why some of the rides are wrapped in foil. A lot of work still has to be done before the park can open again. But it seems no work has been done in the past year according to satellite images. Also the website is taken offline. Oh, graffiti. This one looks really cool. You also have the ones with where they spray the water, right? Eh? When they go, uh, yeah. they turn upside down. Oh, this looks uh, 
the entrance is on the other side. Something big in front of it. We can go up here. The crazy flip it's called. Oh, they bought it on uh, AliExpress. <laughs> Most of the attractions seem to come from South Korea. Here's uh, the Terminator. See it here? We wonder why they leave all these things to rot outside instead of putting it in the storage. When I see this, I uh, I don't know. Again, paint. But I doubt. Uh, I think the renovation stopped. This is the roller coaster which moved from the old part. This is a cool shot here. You always sit in the front or in the back? Uh, in the front. Oh yeah? Oh, in yeah, the back. In the back. back. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fastest normally. Small little coaster. Ah. They, uh, here you can see the old bumper cars. And here there was a Ferris wheel, I guess. I think they uh, dismantled it. Yeah. Those are in the buckets. They look very new. Huh? Uh huh. Yeah, who knows what they're doing here. Huh? Maybe we're gonna check it on the internet. Later. Yeah, we're gonna find uh, some information about it. As I already told before, we now know these attractions were bought to expand the park. There's still uh, a lot of money yeah, standing here. Normally in a theme park, when it's abandoned, they sell the, all the attractions. So in a matter of a few years, Everything is dismantled and sold. And there are just a few cases where a whole theme park sits abandoned for many years. There are like now a Dreamland was one, I think it was abandoned for 10 years and then they demolished the whole theme park. But this is a really weird stage to find it, eh? just one big mess. Nara Dreamland was uh, one of the best and biggest. Yeah, it was one of the craziest one, yeah. yeah. One of my favorites is like, one of my favorites, it's Nara Dreamland, Six Flags USA. Oh, yeah. And I did another a few nice ones in Asia, like South Korea, Taiwan. You did some, uh, you did an abandoned Oh, yeah, before, Taiwan, right? yeah, yeah. Taiwan. With the big spider. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was a good year. Uh, we had a lot of fun that year. We traveled so much. 2017, I guess we uh, did uh, 32 countries in one year. Yeah, and now we did one trip in one year. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid COVID. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, this is not so big, but yeah. Oh, that's a nice no, yeah, it's a, a nice find. Yeah. Pretty cool shot from here, right? Yeah.
nice ride. They use the chairs to paint these uh, iron uh, things. It's nice that there are some parts are overgrown. And here the last attraction, where you get the most nauseous, I guess. This is cool. Really looks like a disco too. There was even some uh, disco lights. Hmm. You see? I'm gonna film it. Broken panels and you see the light bulbs inside. The Mariah Carey or something there in the middle. Michael Jackson, Madonna. On the left side, an anonymous girls. Maybe we can uh, put some attractions on because there is electricity uh, inside. <laughs> that would be fun. I think there will be a big explosion uh, when we turn on the electricity <laughs> here. They say it never rains here, or almost never rains here, and everything is completely rusty. Maybe because of the salty air? It's, yeah. It's pretty close to the sea, I think. Probably. So I guess the air is salty and everything is rusty anyway. The attractions were probably already rusty before they got here. Anyway, there's still a lot of work before the spark can open. I guess with the current pandemic and uncertain future, the owners don't spend more money on it. Thanks for watching.